Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on, all? Uh, Philip Trom here. And uh, what did y'all think about that uh, that picture of the guy from uh, like the 1930s in the military? Um, hope y'all saw it. If you didn't, I'm going to put the picture like right now so you can can see it and tell me if you think it looks like me. Um, but I have a crazy dream to tell you. If I do start crying, you know it is what it is. But it was very serious and very, very sad to me. So I will be sharing that with you now. So the dream starts out. I'm walking into my grandparents, um, the grandparents on my dad's side. I open the door and my wife's parents are sitting in a living room. My daughter walks up from the doctor's office in my grandfather's room. He was a doctor. At the time, um, at, the, at the home, it was in, on the mid-level. She walks up and she's crying. I guess, what's the matter, honey? What's going on? She says, Rose's parents, they haven't told you? I'm like, I'm puzzled. She walks uh, me to the TV and Taiwan has been attacked and um, they're being slaughtered. She looks at my, uh, my wife's parents and says, the Philippines, the phone lines have all been hijacked. They're dead. Nobody can get through to anybody. Um, they can't get a hold of Rose's grandma. That's my wife's um, grandparents. Um, the news, cuts to a, uh, the news cuts to a special report that North Korea has sent ICBMs to Japan and two have been shot down already, um, but exploded and believed to be of a nuclear force off of Hawaii. Um, they're telling people to shelter in place and they show on the TV people running from the beach. For fear of imminent uh, catastrophe, prevailing winds will push fallout towards all major cities and military installments. My dad walks down from the upstairs and is crying. He's holding my youngest son, um, Kylo. So, um, I ask, you know, where's Bodie? And he, he's like, Bodie's in school. Um, I'm like, well, we have to go get him. Like, what do you mean? Um, so we go, um, I run to the door to get to the car and I see tanks are down at the end of the street. Um, the, uh, the way that the tanks were moving, you could see their exhaust, black, you know, black filling the air. The Humvee comes down from the mountain my grandparents lived on, and I go to get in my car, and it's dead. I run to the Humvee and ask for the military, for a military escort to pick up my son. Um, is it okay if you guys take me to the, you know, the school, pick up my kid real fast? Um, the soldier from uh, the back window explains, an EMP has been detonated above the clouds of the United States. And says all buses have been ordered to Fort Dix. Um, it's a protection act, and he said like four four two three of the government uh, protection act. Um, it is now in motion for the future of American values and humanity. Uh, I go and run back into the house, but now I'm standing in like military camo at my house, at my parents' house, where they live. Um, the sky is orange. It's like the sun is setting. I'm looking for my wife. Uh, I have like an M14 uh, machine gun in my arms. Uh, the front door is locked, so I run to the backyard and I see my mom, and she's like crying her eyes out. I'm like, "Mom, what's up, man? What's going on?" And then I see the I see I see in front of her. I see like boots stand, you know, sitting there um, with a helmet on top of them. Uh, my mom says, "Your father, you know, he really loved your kids." Um, I look around, I kind of look up like, what? Like, what's going on? And the houses around me are all boarded up as if people aren't living them anymore or something. I don't know. Um, the sense was that like a lot of people had died. My youngest runs up and says, I miss Poppy. And I really miss Bodie. It's my middle son. Um, the one that took the four dicks in the dream. I start to kind of cry. Like I'm getting upset. The sense is that everyone's dead. And I go, Where, ma, where's Kylo, mommy? Or where, Kylo, where's mommy? He looks up with a face of true devastation and being broken. He says, mommy's fighting the war in heaven now, so we can all be happy again. A soldier, a soldier comes up behind me and says, Lucifer is losing, sir. The Antichrist uh, killed a lot of good people and the only uh, made God's army stronger. And for that, we'll have a place to go, you know, when we do die. Um... The war in heaven is just getting worse and worse, but uh, God's army is getting bigger and stronger. And I kind of was walking to the front of the house and then I woke up. But I just wanted to tell you guys about that dream and um, the whole Taiwan thing is weird because I keep having these dreams that come true about all this stuff. So I don't know. I love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. 
as you can see, kind of the dream kind of broke me up. I'm kind of upset about it. But um, I love y'all, and please tell me what you think about that picture. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, and I'm always here to conversate, and, you know, um, I'm here to talk to y'all. I support y'all, and I'm here for you. I love y'all.